friend, Marian Santos here at Potentials.com from the Philippines, signing at our channel. Friend, OFW ka ba? Or home quarantine ka ba today? So, let's study God's Word para maintindihan natin how we could be better in these uh, challenging times by knowing who to uh, align with. No? Si Jesus po. 52 weeks with Jesus. Week 41 na po tayo. The title is A Most Valuable Treasure. So, by Mr. James Merritt po. So, yung story niya today is about losers who win and winners who lose. So, ang sample niya is the biggest loser. Diba? The biggest loser is a TV program which originated, I think, in the US, no? So, the one who lose the more funds is the winner. Yun yung uh, uh, story behind that. I guess we, we even have a local counterpart in the Philippines. Eh. So, the more that we lose uh, na pounds is the better for us. Tayo yung winner. So, which he, he kinompare niya ni Sir James, the author, to Mark, the Gospel of Mark 10, verse 17 to 22. So, it's also about the uh, story of a big, biggest loser. Bigger loser, no? So, sino ba to? This is the rich rank, young ruler. So, di ba tinanong niya si Jesus, what do I do to gain eternal life? So, yun ang question niya kay Jesus, eh. Friend, nandito ka ba sa situation na ngayon na parang you have everything in your life, career, family, pero you're looking for something, which is this, just like this rich young ruler, ruler in the Gospel of Mark. Nagkahanap siya ng, what do I do to gain eternal life? So, nagkahanap siya ng another uh, dimension sa buhay niya. So, sabi niya, he realized there had to be more to life than what he was experiencing. So, sabi niya, so, nga, he was looking for something. So, friend, na-experience mo na ba yan? Ako, uh, siguro, uh, four or five years ago, parang hinahanap ko rin yung parang I have a career, I have a family, my children are graduates, they have work, pero what is life moving on? Parang saan tayo papunta? So yun, uh, Brother Bo Sanchez yun, parang in one of his talks, talks about Jesus as parang yung kailangan natin in our life. Or God, the presence of God, yun yung uh, baka hinahanap natin, which this young ruler was looking for. So sabi niya nga, what is the answer of Jesus to the man? You lack one thing. Go, sell all that you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. So, yun yung answer niya. So, Mark 10, verse 21. But what did the young ruler do? Diba? Sabi niya, he went away. So, parang hindi niya makayang ipamigay yung riches niya na pinaghirapan niya for so many years, or siguro power, kasi young ruler, diba? To give up all these things. So, Siguro sa word, kaya nga siguro tayo maraming conflict ngayon, hindi natin masolve-solve itong problem natin kasi yung baka the ego of the you rulers of this world are getting what? Natatapakan or nahurt ba? So we cannot find a final solution. Eh. Parang sabi nga dito, come follow me. Baka kailangan lang natin the way of joy, peace, and love yun baka yung nang hinahanap natin na hindi natin binibigyan na attention which are the lessons of 2020 di ba parang suddenly we are uh, concentrated on family kasi that's all that we have eh parang to enjoy to treasure parang over all the other things of this world di ba so sabi niya he knew something was wrong on the inside so Sabi ko nga kanya, may hinahanap ka, hindi mo makita. Parang you have everything. He has everything the world can offer. Pero hinahanap niya nga, what is it that I can do to have eternal life? If you want God in your heart, you've got to give your heart to God. So yun yung challenge sa atin ngayon. Baka, friend, yan, oh, wala ka ba dito ngayon sa Pilipinas? You're at home quarantine? Or you're somewhere in this part of this world? Or what, nasa opisina ka ba? Yun, find time to give your heart to God. Parang yun yung hinihingi sa atin ngayon. A relationship with our Lord will help us solve all these uh, negative things na nangyayari sa mundo natin. Eh. So, only when you remember every 
only when you surrender everything to Jesus can you avoid becoming the biggest loser and let him transform you into the biggest winner. So friend, you want to be a biggest winner? Surrender your heart to God. Yun yun talaga yung challenge that we have right now. Eh. Surrendering to God. So alam ko it's a big challenge, mahirap. Just like the young rich ruler, di ba? He went away nung malaman niya he has to sell all his possession and follow Jesus. Eh. But that's the challenge we're facing right now. So sabi nga ng prayer natin this week, Lord, everything I have is yours. Open my eyes to the way I've held my goods and my life back from you. Lord, I surrender all. Can you pray that prayer, friend? Alam ko, it's hard, but that's the challenge of today. Do, how, do we, how do we surrender to God all these things that we have in order to have this eternal life here even on earth? Stay safe, everyone. God bless you all. Please subscribe and like our video.